Good evening. A man is assaulted by Henderson police after he tried to help them, and now the city has to pay nearly half a million dollars. Thanks for joining us. I'm Denise Valdez. And I'm Brian Loftus. A News Now investigator Vanessa Murphy obtained video from that incident, sat down with the victim and his lawyer. Now, we do want to warn you, it is graphic. For Jim Herndon, it's been six long years since he became the victim of excessive force by Henderson police. This bad situation got out of hand and things just spiraled. He was an assistant store manager at Sportsman's Warehouse. Officers arrive after a call about an armed shoplifter. Here, officers approach the suspect and he runs. We had a firearm. Herndon. I didn't know what he would do. A former law enforcement officer for more than two decades. Just instincts from lots of years of training. Intervenes. I recall jumping on him. But he never expected what would follow. I saw stars. This is Sergeant Michael Gillis ramming Herndon in the head with an M4 and using a stun gun. Somebody had my had their hands wrapped around my throat and was lifting me up, which so I peeled fingers off my throat, um, got hit a few more times in the face. He says he suffered multiple injuries, including a concussion, and he has permanent nerve damage and some memory loss. But there's one moment he can recall after the incident. They kind of chuckled and said, hey, we must have mistaken you for the bad guy. And it was really at that moment that I was kind of like, I felt like, well, they're all standing out here getting their story straight. He later reached out to the city of Henderson. To even do the complaint and, and do the follow-up with that. I mean, they don't make it easy at all. In 2021, attorney Marjorie Hoff filed a lawsuit against the city, Sergeant Gillis, and five other officers. It was very clear to me that, number one, the police had no plan, that they escalated the situation to a point that it did not need to escalate. It was safer to have more people. This is Sergeant Gillis on the stand. And you would not change a thing? No. He testifies the incident tarnished his reputation, a claim Hoff is ready for. But you had previously had excessive force complaints for punching a woman in the face? There was questions on it, allegations, yeah. You had allegations against you for sexually harassing women at the Starbucks where you were would do your paperwork? I think it was that wordage, but yeah. Also for um, inappropriately selling weapons? Yep. Voiding traffic tickets for friends and family? Yes, I did that. Five to ten inquiries about using excessive force by internal affairs? Sounds probably right. You've been placed on leave with pay four times? Yes, ma'am. What types of incidents cause an officer to be placed on leave with pay? Shooting incidents where somebody dies or there's substantial bodily harm to that person. And then the verdict? The city of Henderson must pay $450,000. What stands out to you about the Henderson Police Department after handling this case? They clearly have a culture that allowed this to happen. They had no intention of properly investigating either the incident or the internal affairs investigation. The whole thing was just a big rubber stamp. We're just going to say they did the right thing. It was never about money. It was about accountability. My only hope is, is that it's enough that it will make Henderson change their ways, and I worry about that. He says the video shows the moment his life changed forever. Still difficult to watch, but he says he hopes his story may inspire others to seek accountability. Vanessa Murphy, 8 News Now. Attorney Marjorie Hoff says this is the first civil rights trial in state history under a new rule that came down from the Nevada Supreme Court. Now, previously, civil rights cases had to be handled only in federal court. Gillis appears to have retired from the Henderson Police Department. Vanessa reached out to the city, did not receive a response in time for this report.